Hola, do you want some cheap heated tacos? How about some stale nachos? Care for some watered down beverages? Now before you say no, remember this. We have very low prices. Like your kids meal, with the half a taco and the beverage. For just $19.95. Some people call us bull, but that's because they can keep the rest of the day. So come on down to Taco Bowl. Or think outside the health department. I'm your host, Alex. Uh, now, people everywhere are trying to make their yards look the best. Rather than like putting flowers and bushes to landscapers that flat and shape the land we walk on before you knock on your door, heck, we even use people to put fountains and brooks in our land. I mean, yeah, it's beautiful, but <laughs> it costs a little bit of money and it's it can be a little expensive sometimes, but sometimes it's a little cheap. But, uh, Continuing on, for all the people out there who have a big yard and they want it to look good, what do you do? I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do this. Uh, it's mowing your lawn. Because, <laughs> I mean, come on, you don't need these really long grass everywhere and then you'll get trapped. I don't know. It looks better when it's mowed, I suppose. Well, um, now this is the very common thing that people all around the world makes their yard nice and neat looking by uh, trimming the height of the grass to killing those really annoying weeds that keep getting into your yard every single year. <laughs> now, how do you mow your lawn? What do you use? It's called a lawn mower. Oh, yeah. So uh, basically, uh, not a lot of people know that uh, this invention is not that new at all. Uh, not by a long shot. <laughs> uh, this idea was made into a machine in the uh, 1800s by a man named Edwin Budding. Of course, he has uh, passed away a very, very long time ago. Uh, but our people made a robot to think and act just like he would. Uh, we are going to call him in here and ask a few questions about his invention. So uh, please welcome Edwin Budding, the Mower Master. So, how are you, Edwin? Oh, I'm just lovely. So, tell us a little about yourself. Well, I was born in Strood, Rorschachheimer in 1795 and raised by my father, who was actually a farmer. Okay, now did you learn a lot about farming from him? Oh, yes, indeed. My father talked so much about farming and I helped him here and there to uh, help with the crops. Now, my dad always said, that I was going to be someone one day. And after he said that, I kind of looked to how the whole world was changing. What I found was machines. Yeah, the world was evolving quite a bit at that point in time. All the new inventions were going to improve lives of many. That kind of brings me to my next topic. You see, due to the changes I saw, I went on to learn more about things about it. Or rather, made it to where I had I have made my life stay around machines. Oh, okay. So I was very lucky and well educated, and people said I had a way with solving technical problems. I soon took the job of being a patent maker and a machinist for the cotton mills. Uh, so when did you get the idea of a lawnmower? I was just about to cover that. Oh, my bad. Go on then. <laughs> well, the idea kind of came from the cotton mills, actually where a napping machine used blades to shear off the excess fibers from the surface of the cloth. I decided to use this idea and put it in a machine which can be used by a single person to cut grass very easily and have an even height afterwards. So what did this design look like? Well, it was 16 inches wide and made of iron. The contraption had two wheels. One of spinning the blades, and the other to adjust the height which the grass could be. And was it had a handle for the back for someone to push it, and of course the tray for collecting the trimmings of the grass. Okay, uh, sorry, is this patent? Oh, in 1830, uh, also the year when I went into partnership with John Faraby, who was the owner of the Phonix... Oh, sorry, not Phonix, my bad, I keep on saying that wrong. Uh, the Phoenix Ironworks, I met. There you go. 
And basically, he was working on getting people to make it and buy it, while I was simply upgrading the design, making it better for people to use. Uh, how many were you guys able to sell? In just 10 years, I was able to sell over a thousand. Of course, that number tremendously um, went up over the years, and now people around the world are using my creation just to make their land look better. Alright, thank you for being here today. Oh, it was an honor. Alright guys, that was the Lawnmower Master. Give him a round of applause. Woo! Hey guys, uh, just a little bit more before we end this video. Uh, if you need to learn any more information about Edwin Budding and how we program this guy, uh, go to www dot the good and the bad dot blogspot dot com you can find not just Edwin Bolding but a whole bunch of uh, other people too uh, I haven't really looked on it much but there's actually some pretty cool facts that I didn't know about many people on there so go ahead and check out that website you can learn a few things yourself uh, well there you have it ladies and gentlemen the man who started the long lasting invention the lawnmower um, You'll find, like I said, you'll find really great stories. So um, I'm Alex, and I hope you had a great time watching this. Thank you for uh, watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, see ya!